Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer just purchased this Jeep for $7,500 USD and brought it in as they were told from the previous owners that it just needed the control arm bushings replaced. Unfortunately, the technician found the rear trailing arm mounts and frame to be very rusted. This rust is a common issue and repairable, but the customer did not get the repairs done. And this customer just recently purchased this pickup truck and brought it in as the check engine light is on. The mechanic noticed the bed of the truck was touching the back of the cab when he brought it in. So he checked the frame and found it to be broken in multiple spots. He showed all the red flags to the customer and the welding job that the previous owner had performed. When this customer brought in their car to get the brakes replaced, the mechanic noticed that somebody had welded a smaller brake pad onto the back and plate of the old brake pad. Customer states they were driving, heard a noise, then a bunch of lights came on and the car shut off. The technician found all of this damage to the exhaust and also found the oil pan to be damaged, which leaked out all of the engine oil and caused the engine to seize. The customer also said they didn't hit anything and wanted to see if this would be covered under warranty. Customer states that he believes the turbo slash boost hose is trying to come off his vehicle again. He hears a whistling and rattling noise and has a perfume-like smell come through the vents. The technician removed the air freshener, which fixed the customer's concern. Customer states air is only blown on one side. The technician found that the customer had the vents closed on the passenger side. Customer states vehicle has extended crank. The technician noticed right away that the vehicle was low on fuel, so he added fuel and it fixed the customer's concern. And this customer drove his car to the dealership like this as he got this gas can stuck in the fuel filler nozzle when he ran out of fuel. This Cadillac CTSV came in as the customer says they hear a knock noise while driving. The technician told the customer they needed new tires, but they declined at this time. And this customer brought in his truck for a fuel leak after somebody had tried to hack together a bunch of repairs. The customer declined repairs, so he tried to get his truck on this trailer and didn't want any assistance from the shop. When this vehicle came in for a turbo-related issue, the technician found the vacuum hose for the wastegate connected to this clamp instead of the turbo. Customer states when driving over 45 miles per hour, his vehicle does not want to stay in its lane. The customer declined repairs and drove away. And this customer brought in his vehicle as he said he wants an alignment after he installed new ball joints. The shop showed the customer these photos and told them that the upper ball joints need to be replaced before an alignment, but the customer declined repairs. You can submit clips that you personally took on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already.